Today, I'll show you how to fix the 502 bad gateway error. It can show up in different ways and be caused by different things. So most videos will give you a lot of fixes to try. To save your time, I'll give you the four best fixes, which will solve 99% cases. If you're among the unlucky 1% for whom these four fixes don't work, shoot an email to our customer support and they'll help you out. Now, before we start trying these fixes, here's a trick that will save us a ton of time. Go to any one of these sites and enter the URL of the website showing the 502 error. Let's take this one as an example. If the page shows that your site isn't down, then the 502 error is due to an issue on your end, which means something is wrong with your browser or network connection. Our first two fixes will help you address these type of issues. Now, if the page shows that the site actually is down, then it means that there's an issue with your website or server. Fix number three and four will help you deal with this type of issue. So you can skip to those chapters if you need it. Fix number one will show you how to solve 502 error in your browser. The first thing to try is to just refresh the window once because sometimes temporary traffic surges can cause this error. If that doesn't work, then just clear browsing history and reload the website. If the error is still there, it could be that one of your extensions is causing this. So just disable them and try again. All right, if you still have the error, it can be a problem with your network connection and to be more specific, your DNS. So fix number two will be all about solving your DNS issues. There's two main ways to do this. First is to clear your DNS cache and the second is to change your DNS servers. I've already made step-by-step -step screen recordings for both, so you can check the video linked above and skip to chapter number one and three. But wait, please listen to one thing before you go. If the DNS fixes in that video don't resolve this issue for you, you should do two things. First, please confirm that there is indeed an issue with your own network or devices by testing the connection on another computer connected to a different network. If you feel that the problem can be on a website or server level, then watch the other two fixes that I'm sharing here. Fix number three will help you solve the most common website issues that are causing the 502 error. The easiest way out is to restore your site from a backup that was taken before the error showed up. If you can't restore because the backup is old and you don't want to lose data, or you don't have a complete backup because you did it manually, or you can't even restore because because you can't access your admin dashboard, then I would recommend checking out our plugin BlogWorld because it not only has solutions for each of these instances, it has many other helpful features. Coming back to fixing this error, you can look at your plugins and themes next because they can sometimes conflict with each other and cause a 502 error. So if you have access to your admin, go to the plugins, then bulk actions and deactivate all your plugins. If the 502 error is gone from your site, then activate the plugins one by one to catch the culprit and remove that plugin. If you don't have access to your admin, you can use an FTP client to find your WP content folder and then your plugins folder. Rename it to something like uh, plugin stop and if the error goes away, rename your plugin folder back to plugins and then rename each plugin folder inside of it one by one until you find the culprit. If the plugins are not at fault, then you need to check if it's the theme that's at fault. Just redo the same process with the theme folder and you should know if the theme is causing the 502 error or not. And hey, if this video is helping you, please hit that like button because more engagement means more views and more views means I get to make these other cool videos. So be nice. Leave a like. All right, now fix number four is to help you solve this on the server level. Your CDN could be malfunctioning and causing this issue. If you're using a third party CDN, just deactivate it using the free CDN enable plugin and test your site. If you can't do that because your admin is not working, just log in via SFTP and rename the plugins folder to CDN enabler old. This will temporarily disable the CDN connection and you can reload your site to confirm if the error is gone. Lastly, if your 502 error looks something like this, this or this, then it means that the problem lies with your web host. Even if the error page did look like that, but the other fixes I mentioned in this video did not work, please conclude that it's a web host issue. You'll need to chat with a customer support and most good hosts are quite prompt at sorting this out. If your web host writes back saying it's not a problem on their end, then my friend, we've come to the end of the line and it's time to hire a WordPress developer. There are a few other fixes I can explain, but the amount of effort you'll spend versus the probability of it actually getting solved is not very good. So I'd recommend letting a pro handle it because this may end up taking some time. One last helpful tip. How will you work on your site or restore it if you can't even access your WP admin? Watch this video to find out. Hit that like button if this video helped you. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I'll see you again next week.